Howdy Chasers. Hello. We are in Phoenix in front of a place called Harvey Weinberger. Harvey the Weinberger. Harvey the Weinberger. And I gotta tell you, man, this place is kind of... There's no windows. <laughs> There's one door. It looks like a dive bar. It looks like a dive bar. We haven't been in there yet. We've never been in. So this is all on the fly. On the fly, let's do it. All right, here we go. All right. This way, Mr. Weinberger. Oh, it is a dive bar. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, right. Let's go sit on the bar. Look at those burgers. Never been here. What's the backstory? We opened in 58. 58? We originally had three of them in the valley. We sold a couple of them off in the 60s. Okay. This is the menu, simple menu. We got some specialty theme burgers down here. But then we got that cheese wine burger, add bacon. And actually, it's a special today. So that cheese wine burger is only. It's $5.50 for the, just uh, the burger, burger, 50 cents for cheese, and a dollar for bacon. So even without the special price, it's still a great it's still value. Still a great value. But, but I like to look at that. I like that. I love that they're fried too. Yeah, yeah. No char. No char. Nothing worse than char in a burger. I mean, you can grill a burger, but just get it right if you're going to do it, right? You gotta keep the flames low. Just a drop, just a touch. There you go. <laughs> and then she puts the top on. Look at that. So that is the wine burger. <laughs> look at this. Look at the cheese all melty, melty on there. Melty, melty, melty cheese, man. Are you kidding me? That's, this is why you converted me to American, because it melts better. Yeah, it does. The cheddar always like gets oily. Coagulates. Leaf lettuce, onions, tomato, it pickle. Helps with the wine too. Uh, Would you look at the smile on that? That's a good smile. That's, 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 look grin, at that's grinning at us, isn't it? It is saying hello. Ready for this? Whoa, look at that. Cheers. Burger cheers. Burger cheers. Mmm. Oh, that was a good bite. Mmm. Specifically, wow. could taste the cheese, mm. which I can't say all the time. I thought it was the same. So many cheeseburgers I get. I didn't want to say it because I didn't. I thought it was nuts, but it's a cheese. I tasted the cheese. No, well, it's not nuts. It's cheese. You put two pieces on there, didn't you? See, that's See, it. That's the key. That's the key. There's so many places where they only they put one chin slice out. They put one slice on there. It's like the cheapest thing you can. I tell you, that's a good burger, man. Really, really good. Is that medium rare? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Cooked right. perfectly. Okay. Really good. I know. Look at look at the size of that patty. You know when you turn the burger, you're halfway through, you turn it, you take a corner bite. I call it a corner bite. Corner bite. You know what I mean? I like that. You know what I'm talking about, right? I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, like right here. Balance. That's a corner bite right there. Because at some point, you just gotta trim it, right? So I'll tell you why I like this burger. I haven't even thought about those onion rings. And they're pretty good. I had one initially. <laughs> Did you? Before I had the burger. You got a little last bite anxiety on that, huh? Oh, the first bite. Yeah. I was already, I was already thinking about this is going to be over soon. Imagine what a brioche bun would do to this. Oh man. You all got to think about a brioche bun, maybe. This. If you want to, if you want to take this to the next level, mm. like world class, you put you put a brioche bun on this thing and shredded iceberg and shredded iceberg oh, lettuce. Oh man. In fact, you know what I might do? I might bring in, I might bring my own bun in here and, and, and bring my own lettuce. And the wine really gives it that, it must be the wine, right? To give it that tenderness. That's the seasoning, I guess. I didn't see your seasoning. She didn't put any seasoning on there. I really think it's the wine. Is that your last bite? This is my last bite. Man, I've already finished up. I'm about four bites ahead of you. You better eat it quick or I'm going to be reaching Oh, will you, huh? I got to tell you. Wow. What the? Right? That was amazing. It was amazing. And the fact that it was a food service bun and leaf lettuce didn't detract that much. It didn't. From the experience Not because the meat did absorb that wine and the bacon was well done. The cheese, perfect. oh, that, the cheese pop. The cheese just melted all over that. Two, two slices. slices. You hear that, guys? Two slices. Two, two slices. slices. If you're going to do American cheese on a burger, you need two slices You've of gotta cheese. Got to two slices, or it's going to melt away. Right, and then that last bite anxiety really hit. It was immediate. Took that first bite, and I was like, "Oh man, oh. I'm going to miss this burger. I'm going to miss it." So we like to say, if they had used a brioche bun and shredded, shredded lettuce. lettuce, that thing would have just thrown through the stratosphere from it, a score perspective. It, well, it'd have been fives down the board. Right. Right. Straight. I mean, we haven't entered this in yet, but you know, how could it not? A great find. Looks like a dive bar. 
is, is a dive, dive bar. bar with some hard kicking metal music going on. In yeah, there. So maybe not a family joint. We get some burgers to go. And and you know, what? get your drink on while you wait for the burger because it'll be a good 45 minutes. So there you go, Chasers. Great find here at Harvey's Wine Burger, and uh, we'll see you next time. Later, Chasers.